up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our town hall 8 and as you can see we have got a new base design so um, I had it built over on my screen and I accidentally lost it so we're gonna go ahead go in here to eraser mode and I'm gonna take all this stuff out so that you guys can take a screenshot of it without the walls um, and then we're gonna exit out of this so that if you want to build it yourself then you can um, put your then you can put the buildings in once we go ahead and show this. So take a screenshot if you want this. Um, it's I guess it's gonna be called the cross design or something because you can see the cross in the middle of it. But I just randomly came up with this like all of them. It looks kind of similar to some that I've seen. Um, I don't know if there are any exactly like this out there. There very easily could be. Um, but go ahead, take your screenshot, and um, we'll exit out now and go back and talk about the base and then I'm going to show you all some defensive replays of it as well. Um, so obviously it's a farming base trying to protect my resources. Got all the gold in the center of the base right here and the elixir spread out as well. We've got the mortars in the four corners in the center and we've got our wizard tower spread out around the base as well. Next we've got some pretty good trap sections. Uh, we've got the spring traps right there. Um, with the giant bombs on either side. Then we've got the skeletons and the spring traps there, skeletons and the spring traps there. And then we've got our Teslas on the outside with bombs in front of them so that whenever um, giants or whatever walk towards them, they are going to deploy them uh, or they're going to make the Teslas come up. The giants are going to go over there and take some, take some damage from it. So we could honestly, if we wanted to, um, take out some of the spring traps and do something like this. Uh, just so that you get rid of the giants before the other troops run in there. That's one way to go about it if you want to. Uh, it really just depends on where the person attacks from. But why don't we go ahead and do that and see how it works because I can show you all some defensive replays in just a second where we can see uh, what happened. So why don't we go ahead and bring this one over here as well. And then we're going to put these two spring traps right here and right here. And that should get rid of any giants that head over there. We've got that upgraded bomb right there and we are looking good. So, so far that's how that is. Um, the air defenses are in a good spot as well, and we've got the Teslas on the upper portion of this base since um, we have an air defense down here, but we don't have as much air defense up towards the top, so that's why those Teslas are, we have two Teslas up towards the top portion of the base. We've got our cannons and our archers spread out. Now the cannons uh, at level 10 do 65 damage and the archer tower is at level 10 do 65 damage as well um, The range on the archer tower is 10 and the range on the cannon is 9 So we're gonna bring the archer tower in further than the cannon because that way it protects better and it also uh, protects against air and ground defenses. So you want to keep that more uh, safe than the cannon because it can attack more troops that are attacking your base. Um, so that's the reasoning behind that. Now this one right here, since we need the clan castle right here, this archer tower is out towards the side. Um, but that's fine because we've got this one on the inside, this one on the inside, and this one on the inside as well. Uh, we've got this giant bomb right here. We we really could put it in front of uh, one of these Teslas if we wanted to. Um, again, that's just something if you guys want to do or not. But why don't we go ahead, go into our defense replay. Um, so here's one right here with all archers, um, 200 of them. And we're going to see how this guy does against the base. Obviously, he really just wants um, to see if there's anything in my collectors because there's a lot of loot available for him. There was over 200,000 loot available um, <clears throat> and he is just going to try and spread out all of his archers and they are not going to do too much at all. He's got um, a lot of them left. You can see the skeleton trap came out right there. Um, they are killing my king right now. So sad. Why did, do you see a question mark above his head? He had a question mark above his head right before he died. That was ridiculous. So the mortars did a great, great job destroying all those um, troops. He didn't get that much loot at all. Um, now let's go ahead and go back and keep on looking through that defense uh, log. So now we've got a barch with a clan castle. Uh, I guess there were more archers or barbarians inside of it. And he's got a couple of wall breakers as well. Um, so he's going to go ahead and start attacking on the left side right here, there goes one wall breaker. Here goes another one. It got destroyed. And there go the skeleton trap uh, as a distraction for those barbarians. We've got the mortars firing on them right now. This mortar over here, sadly, is under construction still. Um, he dropped that rage spell and none of the barbarians followed it. Did you see that? That spring trap just went off and the barbarian didn't go anywhere. 
Probably because of the rage spell, he ran past it, but that looked really weird. So his barbarians are just going around the outside. Here come all of his archers, but our uh, mortars are going to do a great job. So is that wizard tower. That wizard tower is one-shotting his archers. So homeboy was not expecting that when he decided to attack my base. Uh, the mortars are doing work on him as well. He does not get anything from me. A thousand and fifteen uh and fifteen thousand. So that wasn't that good at all. Now there is one guy uh that attacks right here at the bottom. He's got level ten and level seventeen heroes. So he's a town hall nine. Uh he's coming in with level five uh wizards and max giants. So yes, he is going to do work to my uh, Town Hall 8 base. So we can go ahead and replay this. He does only get uh, the 63%, but he does, I believe, get um, all of my gold. But as a Town Hall 8, defending against a Town Hall 9 with a level 17 queen and a level 10 king, I'm not too upset with it because I know how crazy giants can be, and they can be pretty ridiculous. So here is where I just switched out those traps. Uh, you can see those bombs just went off. That giant would have been flung away if there were uh, traps there. Now, he does a good job of <clears throat> deploying his giants um, there. That trap worked well. Uh, there goes that other trap. So, shoot, I guess we might need to put them back inside of the base on that side uh, if we get another attack like this. Now, that heal spell is going to be so OP with these giants um, just because max level giants are absurd. His king is full health. His barbarians and his archers are just going to town on the inside of the base. And sadly, he takes... A lot of my loot but I'm not gonna get attacked by this uh, kind of an attacker that often um, I'm in gold three right now and generally like town hall nines in my opinion aren't down this low um, especially if they're looking for dark elixir I mean he did get 729 but a town hall nine can easily get 1500 to 2000 if he's up in the high crystals um, so as you can see most of the time I'm getting attacked by Barch and things like that he's got four wizards that he's still waiting to to use his giants are just taking shots and not even taking any damage whatsoever. They are just going to town on my base. Same with his king right here. The king has two archer towers shooting at it, and he's finally down. Uh, here go some goblins. They're going to get in there, and then here come his last wizards. But obviously, we got annihilated by that guy. Um, he got all of our storages. There's only 23,000 gold left. Um, and it's in the mines and the pumps and he didn't even go after the town hall, which is funny uh, but We got wrecked by a town hall nine. Let's go see what he looks like Let's go look at his base because I actually haven't seen this yet. I'm very interested to see uh, who this guy is so uh, Let's go visit him and see how he looks. He might be rushed. No, he's not rushed at all so this guy has got a really he's got a good town hall nine everything's upgraded well um, his walls are really, really good. So, yes, obviously I'm going to lose to him. But for the most part, it seems like we're doing uh, pretty well. A lot of people are just taking out the town hall. Um, I'm not. Sh I don't think that this was with this design, this one right here. Uh, but this was another uh, town hall eight that attacked. I think that, that was my old design that got attacked. But this new one's working pretty well, especially against the barch. Uh, strategy and things like that so why don't we go ahead and actually move these back out because it seemed like they protected really well against uh, the Giants once they got inside the base so we'll go ahead and bring these back out here and then um, I guess we can put another put this one right back in here and where was that other one so those were over there um, yeah, I guess we're good. Uh, <laughs> you know, this this base is holding up okay. Uh, I do have an okay amount of loot right now as well. I've got some good gold, and I'm thinking that we should just finish these. Uh, so let's finish up that. Let's finish up this. And, you know, let's go ahead and finish up this one as well. Now our little core is all maxed. We've got a lot of walls to upgrade, but we are going to be moving along uh, farming. And our king, we need 7,000 more Dark Elixir to get him. So hopefully we'll start doing some Dark Elixir farming and I'll do some videos on that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to try out the base, go back to the beginning of the video, screenshot it, and then look at everything in here. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? See you guys later. Peace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below for me. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you want to see some of my other more popular videos, check it out right here. Thanks for watching again. Peace.